Hello again and welcome to another smart car video. Over the last summer, my car has developed a strange noise related to motor torque. First thing I checked was the gear oil, but it was clean and no metallic. Nice quiet drive in the morning. No traffic on the road. Then this happened. Sound of my car with a bad CV axle. So I replaced the CVs. But these are just fine. There's no grinding or play. So I opened the rear cover. Well, here for yourself. Since the gear oil was clean and no metallic, I ordered a new motor. Well this kind of puts a whole new twist on the term crate engine. So we get a crate motor. Amazing how small this motor is. About the size of my hand. To get the motor out, just about every bolt and then about a dozen more bolts have to come off. Seems everything is mounted off the motor. We have the charger, the drive inverter, all strapped up to this bar. Just to hold them up with the motor removed. And under here, The motor bolts up to the transaxle with just six bolts. Then there's the motor mount, the vacuum pump, coolant lines. Everything has to be removed along with a couple hundred more bolts. And there's the old motor and the new one. But the motor bearings are fine. After a while, I'll have enough parts to build a whole nother car. Funny thing is, every part I change does alter the noise, but does not fix it. Then I change the rear wheel bearings. They make a scraping noise. But it's not that thumping that I hear. I even went as far as tearing into the drive inverter. Thought maybe under here where the power capacitor is. Kind of looks like it might be delaminating or the foam lost compression. Maybe power current caused it to jump, make this noise. So I got another inverter in the Tactrix 2.0 to try to test the car Vidiamo. I ran tests on the water pumps since they're known to be noisy at speed. Then I hacked the inverter VIN successfully, but it still didn't work. So I got this 8mm 5.0 to remove these side caps. They are very tight. And 
Then there's this little plastic cover to pop out. And then there are two screws under here. Then take out the seven screws around the cover. There's a few places to pry up with a screwdriver, like back here and on the other side over here. When you lift it up, be careful, there is a ribbon cable. You have to lift the black tab up and the wire will come out. I couldn't hold the camera and do it. There's the tab lifted up and the wire released. Now we'll swap tops with my old one since I can't hack this one. I'll put this one back on. So here we got the wire clipped back in. Now we have to carefully lower the top. Once it's down, put in the seven screws. And then we have the two screws and plastic covers to put back in here. Now it's all bolted together. I put some pipe sealant on these threads. Get those tight, clean it up, and good as new. Okay, now it's all back in. Got my old top half with the new lower power half and new wires all wired up, but it still has that noise. I miss this sound. Stay tuned to the next video where we actually find and fix the problem.